and in August 1964, the BBC launched a new football programme. Welcome to Match of the Day, the first of a weekly series coming to you every Saturday on BBC Two. As you can hear, we're in Beetleville for this Liverpool versus Arsenal match. And if we can have a look at the Liverpool side, we notice that the champions are missing two of the team that won the title last season. Ian St John, not recovered yet from appendicitis. Alf Arrowsmith still out with a leg injury. So Liverpool rather depleted from their championship team, but what about Arsenal? Many people think that this could be Arsenal's year, so let's have a look at their team. We see one new man in the side, Don Howe, the former England right-back, signed from West Bromwich Albion at the end of last season. And so Liverpool start the 1964-65 season, defending the championship. Beautiful conditions, the ground in lovely condition, the weather fine, the ground full and the cop in great form. Now Stevenson, his hunt, he's a good spearhead of this Liverpool attack. Across to Milne, out to Callaghan and already Liverpool slipping into the championship gear. Great appeal for a free kick and Mr Harley's given it. Free kick to Liverpool, the game's going on but the referee's blown his whistle but nobody can hear a thing in this cauldron which is Anfield Road, Liverpool. Wallace. Thompson. And oh, is it too high for Callaghan? No. Hunt. It's a goal! Thompson at the corner for Liverpool. Callaghan. Uh, who's there? Wallace, it's a goal! Baker. Big ball to Strong. Out of Anderson. Strong again. Easton, it's good return, a fine move and a lovely goal by Strong. A lovely goal. <laughs> Step finding Jeff Strong, the man who got the Arsenal goal. That's a beautiful ball to Armstrong. Is Baker? And it's a goal! Baker has it wide. Oh, what a beautiful goal. Glorious goal by Baker. It's Gallagher. Dying seconds of the game now. It's Wallace. It's there! Wallace has scored! 3-2 to Liverpool. Their match against Arsenal would one day throw up last-minute drama again for the cameras. But the black cat that crossed the BBC's path that day brought luck and longevity. This fledgling programme, watched by 20,000 people, would run for 25 years.